far away in the great wide universe, nestled among the dazzling stars and mysterious planets, lived a curious boy named Omsum. He wasn't like the others on Earth. Omsum had a big imagination and an even bigger love for space. Every night, when the stars began to sparkle, he would gaze up at the sky, wondering about the secrets hidden in those shiny dots. But of all the planets he read about in his big, colorful books, Saturn always caught his eye. Saturn was different. It wasn't just big or made of gas or far away. It had something magical, something no other planet had in quite the same way. Its rings, wide, bright rings that wrapped around it like a cosmic hula hoop. Amsum couldn't help but wonder, why huh? did Saturn have rings at all? One clear evening, with his telescope pointing high above, Amsum began his usual sky-watching routine. His room, filled with models of planets and glow-in-the-dark stars, suddenly huh? felt like a real spaceship. <laughs> he imagined flying through space zooming past Mars and Jupiter, heading straight for the most ringtastic planet of them all. In his imagination, Aumsum arrived near Saturn. <laughs> there it was, gigantic and golden, slowly spinning like a royal jewel on display. Its rings were even more beautiful up close. Layers and layers of icy chunks and rocky bits, dancing around Saturn in perfect harmony. As he floated near the rings in his imaginary spacesuit, Amsum tried to figure out how they got there. Long ago, before humans even existed, Saturn didn't have its rings. It was just a big, round planet made mostly of gas. But something incredible happened. Amsum imagined the scene, a giant space rock coming too close, trembling as Saturn's gravity tugged at it like a child pulling a toy apart rock shattered into pieces, and those pieces made of ice and dust and rock spread out and formed the famous rings. Over time, those rings became thinner and flatter, stretching around the planet like a shiny ribbon. Not all the pieces were the same. Some were as small as pebbles, while others were as big as houses. And even though they looked solid from far away, the rings were actually made of countless little bits each one dancing on its own path. Amsum marveled at how these bits stayed in place, never crashing into each other too wildly, kept in line by Saturn's gentle yet mighty pull. He also learned that Saturn wasn't the only huh? planet with rings. Jupiter, Uranus, and Neptune had rings too, but they were shy compared to Saturn's bold sparkle. Saturn's rings were the brightest and the widest, making it the superstar of the ring world. <laughs>